Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of the Rank Up series. In this video, I'll be going over a Plat 3 replay where I'll be giving tips as well as general feedback and information to possibly help others as well as to give insight to higher level thought processes. And this one is a good one, so don't go anywhere and let's get right into it. Yo, welcome everyone to the replay section of the video. This is where I will start the replay. And I've already gone over this replay, just by myself, and we got a good one. There's a lot of more interesting things than the Gold 3 replay, and, you know, sorry about that replay. It wasn't the best, but... We see here already, classic plat, right? And... There's good and bad things here. Bad thing is his touch off the wall here. This is just an unfortunate touch that we immediately go to fix, which leads us closer to the play, which is good. The only thing that we could do better here, in my eyes, right, is we grab this pad to our left instead of flipping towards the play, because if we look at both the opponents here, Mr. No Cap and Mr. Ron, uh, are both pointing their cars towards this ball, as well as your teammate, and your mid-flip animation, so you can't do anything right here. So what you can do instead is grab the boost that you could just flip past and follow in suit behind your teammate. Because guess where this ball goes? Nowhere. For first, nowhere, first of all. But it slows down and bounces. And if you were more behind your teammate here, you can have a straight shot onto the net. Because we look at Mr. Ron here and Mr. No Cap. Thank you to the boost meter. We see that they don't have any boost. Which means, if you were in line with the ball, you can have a free shot. We go for a ceiling shot here. And this is where I realized this replay was going to get really spicy. Because we have a mechanical plat question mark. Not bad here. We're playing a little, a little too far back, right? This is something I struggle with in ones a lot. It's a very bad habit that I have, but you're giving too much time to your opponent here. And fair to you that you might be stalling for your teammate to get back. Also, if we drift turn the other way, instead of doing that, if we take our car, I'm going to put this up here real quick. If we rotate our car or just turn it, look how it goes fakes and slows down here that first of all kills momentum and look how he turns j turns that way so if you go around this way guess where the ball goes it goes up so then if you think about it a little bit more grab these pads that's an extra uh 24 boost and then you curve around in the net here and look how far look how bar far back the next closest guy is he's jumping at the top of the box here so you have enough time to grab this pad, these two pads, come around here, and just jump for the ball. But instead, your your teammate here jumps for it, which makes you awkward and him almost own goal. Classic flat, right? But as we see, which is a lot different, like, I'm trying to grab the, the higher replays of each rank to show what is missing, right? Except for GC1 and JC2 when we get there. I'll do two videos respectively for those. But as we see here in Plat, Plat 3 mainly, it's a huge, completely vastly different game from the Gold 3 replay we saw uh, last video. So many different concepts, right? There's less, less double committing. There's less, I guess, brainlessness. There's less, like, stupid things that go on. There is still stupid things that happen. And there is no tapping boost. There is no tapping boost. Which is already an improvement. Good following here. You don't need to do this. Right. We follow the play here, which is good. You flip to this boost, boom. You grab the boost, you stay grounded. This is all fine. This wide turn, eh, maybe not. Maybe, and instead of going for the hit here, you go for the second man here. This is also a valuable play. Where you can grab this boost, and sorry, I'm not the best with the controls here. <laughs> you grab this boost, and you beeline it straight for this guy. B 
because not only is your teammate really far back, but this ball is in the air. So it either has to come down or the opponent's going to jump for it. Either or, you can kind of time your demo ish kind of to where you can beeline it straight to him either get him in this general area and open up space what this does is open up space and gives your teammate the chance to because he's going to see a demo and he's going to be like this is also bad positioning but if he was in better positioning he'd be like right here roughly or pretty much in this general area here pointing his nose of his car this way because the ball's going this way right but he sees the demo and he sees the opponent in the air. He goes, Bring. he stays on the ground. This guy's not here. What do you do? You hit it like this and the ball goes in the net. See, direct line straight into the net, right? That's what opening space does and perfect spawn. He spawns over there. Perfect spawn for him. He spawns here and he reacts. That's the only, that's out of your power though. That's out of your hands. You get the demo there, opens up space and uh, your teammate here can attack the ball. Now this part, that's the bad part. Everything else was perfectly fine. That's the bad part, because you committed boost, you committed your flip. Already starting off pretty poor with flipping too much. And it may be to keep up speed with the lobby, but this also leads you to be in bad positions, like right here. He flipped forward without flipping towards boost, or just in a position to where he can react to the next play. So therefore he has to panic, get back, grabs a, I would say a lucky 12 probably, and flips back into it. I assume he tried to roll it up the wall, but we don't know for sure, so I'm not gonna say that. This is a little bit better, not the best, right? We don't wanna be doing these turns here for anyone who's plat, in the general plat area maybe even lower in the goal area we don't want to be doing these turns oops that's the wrong button we want to make sure that we are grabbing pads right in these situations where they steal our boost our teammate goes here we can we can take time right teammates in front of the ball technically we have enough time to go grab this pad and this pad if not we can grab this pad grab this pad and curve this way it may not be an ample amount of time to defend this exact shot, but you have, what, 20, whoops, 20, at least 24 more boosts, maybe at the very minimum 12, 12 more boost. It makes, it makes a whole, whole world of difference to have zero compared to, or to have 24 instead of zero. Right here, we're still dodging pads, right? We are sitting at zero. Instead of, this is what I call game watching or ball watching, is you can kind of tell what people are looking at, right? He's looking at the ball the whole time. Right? He's like, oh, do I go? And now he's looking at his boost. He's like, oh, I have zero. Or I have three. I'm gonna use my three to speed back to the back boost and turn my camera off to look away. If Mr. Ron here had a stronger shot and it was on target this would probably be a goal just because of the level of defense that we're at right that's that's really it so instead of here we grab this pad that where we just fake we fake the pad ankles broken on the pad ankles broken on that pad too and that one too we are literally dodging all the pads and the other one too for the big boost the big boost here puts us in a worse situation, right? We are the last man on defense. If they get a strong shot here, if they get a... Or even if they get the demo here. This is a bad situation for your teammate because it could technically turn into a 1v1 or a 2v1 because you're demoed, right? Luckily, the... Uh, I was it Ron missed and you were given free life, free rotation, right? And your teammate cut in the play so you could go. This is another situation here where, yes, you don't expect your teammate to turn for this, which is fair. This is flat turn. This is fine. It's your turn to go for the ball. Unfortunate recovery there, but good job getting back in the play. We slowed. Did we slow down here? I don't know if I'm tripping or not. 
Yeah, we slowed down just a little bit there, so we couldn't get the demo or get involved in the play that much. Your teammate is playing really far behind, so you playing aggressive here isn't bad either. You're trying to create this space, this opportunity for your teammate, but you know, he's just not giving you that. Good attack on the ball, good boost grab, good cut here, and the double tap. That's what we'd like to see. Pretty pretty good goal. I will I will give you that. Good attack on the ball. Being the better teammate that you are. Not saying he's the better player, right? That's where I wanna clarify myself here. He is doing more for the team at the current moment. Because he's on the ball, he's giving his teammate opportunity to push up, collect boost, whatever. And gets a good double tap out of it. Good offense here. Well, let's see about this kickoff, right? This kickoff is where it can change. Good kickoff here. Takes the ball to the wall. This turn here is fine. You can hear his teammate a little too far back. And it's good of you to assume that your teammate's going to play a little passive here. This is where, though, I would suggest uh, flipping. Not going for this boost, but going for this pad and like flipping to the next pad over because that can get you in the play and be obnoxious to the opponents, pretty much. Because going for that 100 gives you nothing. Like, pretty much gives you, it only gives you 100 boost, right? You don't do anything here, you fake challenge in the, the air and then you get beat to the ball by the person who is in the play on the ball, right? So if we go through the middle, we cut through the middle here to uh, demonstrate a little bit more. We go here, we flip to this boost, right? Look where this ball goes. Flips to this boost, you can drive to this boost. You don't have to boost. Look where it is. This is just a little bit to your left. Instead of being looking at the ball like this, where, hey, this might be a better angle. But you can go here and hit this to this wall, which gives your teammate enough time to recover because, or you can hit it into your corner, right? If we take it from here and we just double jump here and use a little bit of boost, we can hit this into our corner and the corner is the safest spot defensively for you guys because it, I don't know how to describe it, it just is. And the sooner people understand that the corners are safe, like the ball has to go to you, pretty much, if it's from the corner. The ball either has to enter this area or this area, and you should have a defender either up here or down here, or both. It should be covered, pretty much, is what I'm saying. So you can take it to your corner, you can grab the 100, and you can cut it either this way so it goes back up the field or if you're confident enough and you trust yourself enough you can cross it above the goal make sure it is above the goal you don't want it here because it could drop it could hit off your car wrong and it can spill out right here you take it high and it can even if you get a little touch on the ball like a little little boof it should cross or yet again if you want to take it on the more aggressive side you cut it this way and you can, yeah, still take it high. Yeah. And so we get beat on the ball. Teammate gets beat on the ball because there's no boost. Didn't have time. Did have time, but didn't have time to recover. It is what it is. It's fine. Not the best, but it's fine. Right here, we give him too much space, right? He's not on the ball, but he has the ability to get on the ball before we can turn and get to there, which is why he beats you. If instead of uh, this play too, if you get a light tap at the bottom side of your car, your teammate can be there a little bit better. If instead of this, instead of turning this way, we can turn the other way to the corner. Because how, out of how many times has your teammate beat uh, Mr. Cap to the ball. Very few, right? And in this situation, yet again, the corner. You don't have to push into your opponent's corner. 
Because look, the opponent will get there before him. The opponent is in such a better position, just right here. The opponent is higher on the ball, the teammate is lower on the ball. He has to jump to get this. Mr. No Cap here just has to drive forward and maybe jump if he's not fast enough. So what you do is you, instead of turning towards the middle, because it's probably not going to go there, and if it does go there, your teammate, it gets a little more complicated. But keeping it simple, you can turn this way a little bit sooner, and you would be there faster. That's all I'm saying. We're also doing a lot of nothing yet again. Take the boost pathing, because as I said, also this happens if we look at our uh, our teammate here. He cuts it too high. He cuts it before it goes up, or before it goes up the wall. He's cutting it on the wall, so it cuts, and now he has to panic flip into it, and it spills out in the bad zone. This is the only bad zone, right, in the box. This is the only red zone, if you think about it that way. If you wait a second, it's also Dominus, so it is flat, so I don't blame him. But if you follow it, hit it across instead of up, right? Across, not up. And you keep it closer to the wall, not only can the opponents not jump, but they don't have a scoring angle. You hit it out and not up, or you hit it up and not out, they have a scoring angle as well. But uh, let's get back to him here. And we also see a lot more recognition of what the play is and how to react to the play from our gold three to our plat three. Which is what you would probably expect from a whole rank or tier higher than what we looked at last time. Good boost grab. A lot of rushing though. We use... 30 something to get to the mid, that's fine. But then we panic flip uh, to get back on the ball. This is fine. We still have control technically. Your teammate's playing a really passive angle here. Hit again, fine, but we need more aggression from him here. He's also in an awkward spot, which goes back to positioning and reading of the play. Where, same situation, the only difference is you're closer to the ball. But yet again here, Mr. Ron. Uh, same thing, just different, I guess, angle of it. You'll see what I mean when I get to get to him here. Same, same big turn. Yet again, going towards the middle, the only thing is you were on the opposite side, turning towards the middle. The difference here, here is he's already in the middle. And he's already awkward, just on this hit. Just on this interaction. He's already awkward. For him here, I suggest him to... Like, if you're in this situation... The best thing I... Des or, one of two things I suggest here is pinching it with the wall here. Not flimping. Not flimping. Flipping into it and just pinching the ball with the wall so it goes up. Not only can it pinch and go along the ceiling and drop into their net, but it can get you more time on the or more time to grab boost, more time for your teammate to go for the ball. Stuff like that. More time to react to other things. Set up a different play. This is just bad on us here. Not reacting to the play and letting the ball drop a little too soon. We go up too late, and then when the ball goes down faster than we can go down. If we stay mid this whole time, like the mid wall, like right here, ball falls to us and we can just flip off the wall or jump and flip off the ball to clear it. And so we wait too long and we get 50. Kind of unfortunate, but avoidable. We're also doing a lot of like all our boost towards the kickoff. There's no flip in the kickoff, which... I suggest learning a flip in the kickoff or speed flip or anything to kind of play at a faster rate because in turn we're using a lot of boost to go the same distance like a flip. And I'm not saying to flip every time, it's just good to know and that's another thing, when and when not to flip. More game time, more experience you have, the better at times you should have at recognizing when and when not to. This play is also like this is a toss up here. We create a, a coin flip. We know here that Mr. No Cap, unless he jumps right now,
can't get to the ball before we can. If we look at our speed, we're going supersonic, but we're going at the wall. And this is where reading the play, like reading where your teammate is, instead of looking at where the ball is, you look at where the opponent is. We see no cap here still on the ground and we turn away. We turn away before he even is at the boost. We go here, we can create a counterattack with a uh, run in the back of their net upside down or like with no boost. And our teammate with their corner boost, which means the blue team has more boost than the entire orange team. Which means it's pretty highly likely the ball goes in. I do like this play here. I like the little chip. Try to take on one. This I'm not a fan of. If you grab this pad here, you do. And then what you do is you go this way. You can either grab that pad, this pad, or this pad and this pad. Like boom and boom. And then you can turn and then go into your corner. You don't have to go into your corner, but enough to protect the net here, right? We're not really protecting the net as second man, and that is kind of an L. So you grab this pad, this pad, what, 12. This is where we would flip to cover the ground that we lost or that we have to make up to get into the position to cover the net. It's optional, but I highly suggest it because here we're just messing up the play with zero boost. Number 23, now the boost is back. We're also kind of making it hard. Like, we're doing a lot of ball watching. Like, you can tell we're doing a lot of ball watching, not a lot of teammate watching. Good turn around there. Good save, good reaction. A lot of waiting here. You could, you can pressure here a little bit sooner. But yet again, though, we're doing a lot of uh, ball watching, not opponent. Like right here, we should know to go. We are waiting and that is fine, but this bounce is so in our favor because cap, no cap here has to, has to dive here if he wants you or the ball, right? He is going faster than you. So if you go up, you might get a demo you, but you don't go up. You're not gonna get that many chances to get a perfect setup air dribble. So kind of don't even bother unless you see no cap here, not go for the ball at all. If he turns back, which he probably won't because he just got the big boost or he just got a lot of boost. Yeah, he just got a lot of boost. He's, what is that, like 70 minimum? He's going to go for this ball. And there's 40 seconds left. You're down by two. It's better, in my opinion, to rush, like rush the offense than it is to have a passive offense because you need to get the score in this is a whole lot of nothing whole lot of watching the ball right you're kind of you're kind of playing the third defenseman honestly you're blocking the only open area that's like wide open it's better here like confuses me messes with my head like, if we go for a bump, like, we bump this guy, and we move on. We go back. We go behind our teammate. Or we go for another bump. We gotta be doing something that's not just watching the ball and watching the game. Because the more we get active and the more we're on the ball, the higher chance we are to score all, all the good benefits. And we see a little, little passing kickoff, a little fake kickoff here. Which I like. Exactly what your teammate did, but a play sooner. I know you scored, but there's always ways to make plays better. Good cut back on defense. Good cut here. Good following the play. Good aerial, right? This is what we were looking for 30 seconds ago. We could be up 4-3. We could be... I don't know. And ladies and gentlemen, that is why you cheat. They are cheating in plat. And if you aren't aware what cheating is, 
is going up on the kickoff. Exactly how this guy does it. Not exactly this way, but he's already on the play. Uh, the Dominus is out of the play, right? He's not there. It gets over him. Unfortunate for them. But this is where it gets really good. This is... This is the cool part. Good kickoff. They cheat back again. Like blue cheats this time. And this is why it's so important to learn how to flip on the kickoff here. If we don't have zero boost here, we have a goal potential. If we have eight, ten boost here, we can grab this, or not this pad, but the pad to the side and have a possible goal here. We get the backflip pass. Oh! It was so close. It was such a good attempt. It was a good attempt. But the main thing that is holding this exact player back is the kickoffs, right? It happens, ow, it happens every game, every game mode, varying, varying differences. But it happens every single time. There are so many kickoff tutorials. I have my own. Wasn't the best, but I have my own. We need to learn how to flip on kickoffs. Because we save 10... 10 15 boost here maybe instead of getting bumped by ron you can use that 10 to like get another shot on right let's say it's a kickoff here and i am pressing the wrong buttons there we go i'm kickoff here you guys know my kickoff strat boom flip here bang 50 like let's say they get there at the same time Boom, exact play happens. I have an extra 10, 10 boost, maybe. I then go for this boost. I got the reaction. You can go for this boost. You can turn a little bit. Guess where you are? You're right here. You're a little to the side. This is where you grab the boost. Or this is where you boost a little bit. And you beat this guy to the ball. Or you grab this boost. You sit on this boost. Bang. So many different... This is why this game is so amazing, and how many like different solutions there are to different plays. There's so many options to fix, not fix, but to give the options. Like, there's so many ways. If we wait back a little bit, we have a, a free shot on that, because they both double command. That's, that's also why we don't watch the ball, we watch the opponents, see what they are doing, and yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys did learn something possibly. And we will be hitting diamond next. Maybe not in a row. But we'll be hitting diamond next. So I'm sure a few of you are happy for that. And uh, yeah. Hope you guys picked something up from this. Hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.